All right, and hey there, Prox Gaming Crew, and this is Prox Fight here, back again for some more of the Persona 4 Golden Let's Play. If you did miss out during the last one, well, Shadow Namatame is defeated at this point in time within the Heaven Paradise, so that does mean that we can go and continue throughout the rest of November without having the uh, set of the looming of the expiration date that's happening within that place. And just as a reminder, that November 20th is the day that uh, if you don't actually go and rescue out with your little sis over at that said dungeon in the TV world, you're not going to be able to go and continue onwards uh, throughout the rest of the game and you will have to go and repeat through the steps all over again which i don't think you really want to go ahead and do that now uh there was an original said video before going on into this said uh type of video that i'm doing right now as uh, as i'm going into the actual set uh, audio recording portion of this and uh just to let you guys know that uh during throughout that other said uh video that i did have planned out uh here within the two videos for today with the upcoming coming of the uh, phantom hourglass uh which we are going to have to go and return all the way back to the uh, Ocean Temple uh, for the next up and coming seed chart, which that should be the last one as well, too, because that's for the Northwestern seed charts uh, to go and do some other explorations from there. Uh, but however, uh, I did go and max out on Marie's social linking, which you guys did not get to go and see. And however, I do believe, I think as well with Chie at this point in time is all fully maxed out. So we don't really have to go and worry about those two said other characters. It's too bad that you guys didn't get to see the last little bit uh, with Marie because there was some heart to heart moments. Because if you guys don't know, uh, I believe within the game, uh, since we do have our said uh, virtual girlfriend at this point in time with having Marie alongside with us, uh, we we had a little bit of some more touching moments within the last part of the uh, of the social ranking with Marie there but we did get the special uh, comb that was something that we were able to go and uh, do for a little bit of some time and trying to get some information and whatnot if you guys remember that from like a couple videos back but we do have that as a kind of like a souvenir uh, as a tail end of what Marie is going to be but we are still going to be doing some other things with Marie at some point because I know that uh, for the December month uh, we should be able to know that uh, uh, Marie is going to be the last of the said type of people that should at least be getting put into the dungeon I think at some point soon right and then we do have like some post game other things afterwards so I'm not really too entirely certain if there is going to be some other uh, said other little mini dungeons afterwards once we're all said and done with uh, Marie but we'll see what happens uh, within our time because uh, I do want to go and make sure to uh, kind of update as we go along uh, throughout this game here. So now it's midnight. That does mean that we have to go and check the midnight channel to see if there's anything more crazy going on. But I'm pretty certain that for right now, uh, since we already just rescued out with Nanako, everything should be back to normal in some standards out here. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, we're not going to be seeing anything else that's going to be happening on this TV. But yeah, we already know that Namatame is already finished at this point in time. Uh, this man's also in the hospital as well, even though that he is going to get arrested and he's going to get put behind bars just like Mitsuo Kubo. So that's all good to go in here. Uh, but we will be getting to see a little bit of a checkup uh, following with Nanako at some point because uh, we will be seeing her uh, within the hospital as well. But yeah, so here's all of our friends once again, and uh, it seems like uh, Yukiko has the paper, and it seems like uh, there has been some headlines about with that Namatame fellow. And I did go and check out on a Friday Night Smackdown, by the way, and I do have to say there is some awesome things to go and kind of build up for the way of uh, how Crown Jewel is going to be. And during the time of this said recording, I am actually doing this on November 2nd, and uh, I think just in a little bit as well, too, uh, I think around 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time uh, within my area. Is that I want to say that the Crown Jewel will actually begin around within that said time. So can't wait till I go and check out on that. Uh, it's pretty good that I can actually have a little bit of some good enough timing to go and try to do all my said videos beforehand into getting into watching of sound crown jewel but uh, for the next day for when I go and do my Sunday recordings I'll let you guys know on everything that is happening uh, throughout there on the crown jewel stuff and then I'll kind of give you guys my uh, thoughts and reactions on everything from there but I will go and talk to you guys a little bit about with Friday Night Smackdown because I know that there were some awesome things that did happen the one thing that I do remember as well vividly is uh, that I believe Jay is now finally siding alongside with uh, with the OG bloodline. So now when Crown Jewel actually does happen, now we can go and have the bloodline versus, or, or as to say the original bloodline versus the new bloodline for what's going to happen within that match. And I know that there were some uh, interesting things that was getting built around within like uh, the women's uh, championship spot that was going on for like the, the women's match uh, for them trying to get that uh, Crown Jewel belt of their own. 
And uh, I know that that was pretty interesting. I know that like uh, Tiffany Stratton was uh, kind of saying some stuff that uh, th- that she was kind of playing a little bit of some mind games on both of the two said other champions uh, that are there. So I don't really know exactly what Tiffany is going to do. I have a funny feeling that she is going to probably go after Nia Jax. That's just kind of like my my source of opinion because like even though I do think that like with Tiffany she does have that kind of heelish type of thing as well too, or she could be like somewhat of like a tweener. Or something like in between so i have a funny feeling that she's gonna probably not really side with naya anymore and then get that type of uh type of belt to be alongside with her for that but for whatever type of point i know that she is gonna get that as a cash in i don't think she's gonna be one of the said type of women that's gonna fail a cash in because like i don't think that will ever happen not for right now as from what i see have we ever gotten a women's uh, failed cash-in attempt? I don't think we ever got to see one yet, right? Because, like, I'm pretty certain that so far throughout the way of how the women's uh, money in the bank is is that we never really got a failed cash-in right away. Because, like, I know that Carmella went and caught, uh, well, cashed hers in because she was, like, the first one that happened. And then Alexa Bliss did hers, and then Lynn Morgan did hers, which then th- they all got, like, all their type of belts right away. But at some point, it will probably happen because I know that the men's have some failed cash-ins as well because, like, I know that for that type of matter, I know that uh, Baron Corbin lost his. Damian Sandow was, like, the first of many of them to actually lose it. Originally, before, they actually wanted to make Damian Sandow as somewhat of a, uh, well, somewhat of a viable contender for the actual uh, type of belt itself. Uh, but then they kind of had to switch up plans and then kind of screw uh, over Damian Sandow for that. Because, again, of what I, I think of John Cena business. I think that's what happened, I think, from what I remember. So, now we're going to be learning about Nanako's condition at this point in time. And uh, this doctor is going to be also pretty strange as well. Because he's going to be also talking about the said type of fog that has been rolling around throughout here in Inaba. And I know that uh, if you guys do vaguely remember from before, you know how every time that we always went and clear through a TV world and after a little bit of some time, the fog would actually go and disappear and kind of like uh, go it off and do its own thing. Well, apparently now it seems like this fog is going to be coming back and it is going to be staying alongside within uh, Inaba for quite a while. And, uh, and it seems like uh, for whatever type of this fog is, is that it's not really all that too great. Because uh, from what we have been hearing is, is that it could actually be potentially poisonous, but we don't know, really know for sure. But, uh, yeah, so, and also, too, I think it does cause some other effects, which we will be seeing, because I know that uh, we're going to have to go and head back to school, and at some point, we are going to have to see that one of the teachers is going to have, like, some sort of aching back problem. But again, people have high anxiety about things like this, so maybe uh, they'll probably have some sort of uh, their own type of effect within their own selves that happened but we'll have to see what goes on throughout more of the time of the said main story though and uh now throughout this said video we are finally going to be able to now go and do the social linking with Nato at finally at this point in time now that was something that was originally supposed to be showing up within the other said video that i did have planned out before i accidentally deleted it and uh, I went and maxed out all the courage because uh, before you can actually go and talk to Naoto and uh, go and do anything about giving uh, her the white type of card that is that that we went and got from that weird suspicious dude. Uh, you have to make sure that you maxed out your whole entire courage so that then you can finally be able to then go and uh, speak with her and then go and start off with everything that's going to happen there. So now we're going to be hearing from some different locals about uh, what type of random uh, type of misinformation or whatever type of information that they've been hearing out here so far. But I know that at some point we will get the actual said uh, type of effects or something that's going to happen within this fog. Maybe this fog maybe could be the same type of fog that was inside the TV world too. I know that there's a said type of dungeon that, uh, if you guys remember before, when we went and first arrived on into the said uh, TV world, there was, like, that type of, like, abandoned, like, TV show type of, like, area, backstage type of part that we walked around within there. And then there was also, like, that weird abandoned, like, hotel type of place. Well, I believe we are going to have to return back to there at some point, and that will actually be set for a uh, type of dungeon to go and do uh, around within there, so... 
I think I'm coming down. I don't know. That may probably have something to do with then all that type of fog. Because that's where we were uh, kind of seeing all the fog that was happening from there from before. And it maybe probably lingered out from the TV. And there's Rize's grandmother. Well, yeah, because it's like uh, everybody's kind of like in this lockdown type of state right now because nobody doesn't really know exactly what this fog is. People say that's poisonous, but I guess we'll kind of go about on what they're saying here. And uh, so far, I do have quite a bit of books. Uh, and if you guys are kind of wondering about why I bought like so many books, well, that's because that I was trying to build up more of the said courage on our main guy just so that we can at least be able to go and finally talk to Naoto here. So let's go and uh, see what's happening now because we're on our way back to school now since it is on this Tuesday. Oh man, it seems like uh, they've been talking about the finals that are happening, so there is going to be another set of those exams again, but also as well too, a lot of people are coughing around, which that's not good either. I think we should probably start wearing some masks or something. Don't get ourselves anything uh, sick around over here. So yes, uh, so now we got ourselves with some sort of test here for a quiz, which that was all about uh, the Atlas uh, portion of that quiz, and that was all about with the, the book of maps there. Alright, so now let's go and start moving onwards ahead to the 1F area. And if you guys want to know where Nautso is basically at, uh, she's just over here on this side. Now, I know that we normally never really got to go and uh, talk to her at all, but now we're going to finally be able to go and do it right here. Yep, we have enough type of courage to go ahead and do that, so let's go ahead and hand her that card there. So now we just need to go and just uh, basically just find a nice good safe spot to go and talk, and then we'll be able to see what she actually has to say about what this white card is all about. So yeah, it was with that guy with the black sunglasses there. Looking like some sort of like, uh, like some sort of like one of those... I guess like security guards that work for like uh, the, the, the White House or something like that. Very weird, suspicious guy. But uh, since we are getting ourselves uh, closer to the end of this set episode, uh, we're just going to have to just end it off here for today. So thank you guys so much for going and checking out uh, for everything that was going on here with Persona 4 Golden. Mm -hmm. Stick around for when we go and jump into the Phantom Hourglass as well, because for what we're going to do with Phantom Hourglass is that we are going to have to return back to the Temple of the Ocean King, go and find out where the Northwestern Sea Chart is going to be. But there is going to be some new Phantoms that will be making its appearance, known as the Gold Phantoms, which these guys are absolutely annoying and uh, they are going to even be more frustrating just within the temple alone but we'll get on into that when the time does happen but we do have the fortune arcana now uh, so that is going to be right from uh, now till of course and see you guys then and peace Shall we